Hi Nema. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How is home? Everything is fine. Well, I've been thinking. Uh -huh. We're taking a degree in actual science. Yes, of course. And I see you're taking the professional exams. Yeah, we are. Why should we take the professional exams? Well, I think we should take the professional exams because they actually equip us with extra knowledge apart from the school curriculum that we have from the university courses mm -hmm. because they take us an extra, extra mile to various skills like communication, analytical skills and every individual who takes the exams actually gets a chance to diversify so they actually become more professional into a certain field, be it insurance, oh. capital markets, like derivatives, pension and risk management. Okay. So they are important even to take us into international levels. I'm interested actually. I'm interested. So which is which exam should I take first and which exam should I take last? Can you give me the order? Um I think there there is actually no specific order exactly of sitting for the exams but what I do know is that some of the, the exams depend on one another okay. so you actually have to write down the exams and see which should come first before the other so that you may not get difficulties in preparing for the exams uh -huh. but personally I would recommend um, each individual to begin with the mathematical statistics and probability because it actually equips you with the mathematical knowledge and skills to do the rest of the exams. Oh, you're talking of mathematics now. Uh -huh, so yes. how good should I be in mathematics to take the professional exams? Um, for our country, I think the starting point should be the advanced level mathematics from the advanced level education. Okay. It would be a good starting point for each and everyone who actually has not even taken a bachelor degree in actuarial science. Oh. So the A-level mathematics is important. Yes, then I course. should take them. I should take them. So uh -huh. another question is that the the insurance industry in Tanzania is having a problem of lacking enough professionals, especially the actuaries. That's true. Yes. Now, how can the insurance industry solve this problem? I mean? Well, this problem can actually be solved by this insurance industries just being part of the actual profession and okay. actually um, participating in creating the profession. This shouldn't actually be left just to the university to prepare the, 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 the individuals, actuaries. the actuaries um, to become graduates and go on and they shouldn't let us be taken um, like most of us are taken even with other fields yes. because most of the graduates actually aren't even working in the insurance industry. So I think um, they should actually participate in creating the professionals. How? By being part of it, cooperating with these graduates, by giving them opportunities. Because I believe we have a lot of skills, like we have very many ideas of products that we can share with them. Okay. Um, we have studied a lot that is actually part of the insurance industry. Okay. Yeah. So I think we, we can cooperate with them and make up a good team with the insurance. So, so you mean that the actuaries are more important to the insurance industries? Um, I cannot conclude that exactly, but what I'm trying to say is that insurance is actually the one among the important in, uh, like fundamental fields that actuaries are part of. Yes, it's the insurance yeah. industry. Okay, so how many exams do I need to take to get my first job? For a country, I think that's not too specific to count the number of exams one should have to get their jobs, but okay. I think there are specific job qualifications from certain companies. Okay. Um, we have had um, like one of the jobs just asking one to have um, at least a number of exams. So oh. um, it's just a matter of each individual interested with the profession of becoming an actuary. Um, I think. They should just do the exams as soon as possible as they're still in universities, as uh, much as they can. So you're, you're actually advising me to do the exams oh, while yes, I'm still yes. in school? Yes. Well, thank you. Your, your answers are actually great uh -huh. and I'm interested, so I guess we should get to the department Thank now. you so much. Thank you. That was... Ah.